Rakesh, I did not receive your one. Okay, you send in telegram. Yeah, okay, you send in telegram. I did not check the I am checking your telegram. So tell me one thing. This is a test, right? Why you created swap with comment, Rakesh? So why I see the commented code of temp? I just asked you to just do the swap with one. So in test you don't have much time. So why you have written both the ways? You cannot use both the logic. When you go for interview, you have to use only one logic. You don't have too much time. Okay, so next time I should see only one logic, not the multiple logic in in the test. You can write it when you're practicing, but when you're doing test, you should have only one logic. Okay, let's try to do the selection sort today. So we'll go. So what what we were doing in the bubble sort? Let's do the selection sort here. <coughs> So in bubble sort, we were getting the highest value and moving it to uh, to the end. Okay. So this is what we were doing in the bubble sort. Okay. In the selection sort, instead of uh, instead of taking the highest value, we will take the smallest value and put it at appropriate place. Okay, let's take one example so you will understand. So let's take a couple of examples. This is the first example I'm taking, five, four, five, three, four, one and two. So we have to go one by one. So first for loop will be where it will take each element. Okay. So so we have to go first for loop. It will take five. Then it will take three or whatever is number is there. It will take that and then right now it's three, but it will change. That numbers will change. So I'm not sure that it will be same number, but right now it's like this. Okay, so it will take each number in the first for loop. Okay. Now, so this is the pass. First pass, it will take the first number and then it will do some calculation. And then in the second pass, it will take the second number. So right now it's three, but based on the logic which we have put here, the second number may change. Okay, so we'll see that. So right now the current array is like this and we are considering the phi. Now we have to compare phi with three second element and we have to see which one is the minimum. Okay, so minimum is three. So I will say minimum is equal to three. Okay, so this is something we will keep separate kind of thing. Okay, now, now compare, since minimum is 3, now compare the 3 with 4. Which one is smaller? 3 is smaller. Okay, so we will not update the minimum. Minimum is 3 only. Then compare 3 with 1. Now, which one is smaller? 1 is smaller. So we will update the minimum. Spelling is wrong. We'll update the minimum with one. Okay. So now, so in in practicality, when we will try to do the do the real problem, it will be the index. We will be saving the index, right here. I'm just 
showing you that uh, I'm, I'm just showing you that this is something we are saving because I don't want to put index to visualize for visualization purpose I am doing it one okay but when we will try to save it we will save the index for it okay so minimum is now one right now what we will do we will compare one with two which one is smaller so one is smaller so we will not update the minimum we will keep the minimum as one only now this is the phi and this is the 1. So we will swap this phi with 1 and 1 with phi. So the result after this result will be 1 will come here, 3 and 4 will remain as it is. And instead of 1 it will become phi. And last element is 2. So what we did, we swap phi with 1. So 5 went to this position, 1 went to this position. In bubble sort, we were keeping the highest value in the end. But in the selection sort, we are keeping the minimum value at the beginning. We are doing in this way, in the different way. So the next array which we got, we get is this one. Okay, so before we use a 3, we got this array. And if you see, instead of 1 now it has become 5 okay so now again we will go through the process again since 1 is already captured with the minimum so we will not go with the 1 and 3 we will start with 3 now we will keep the minimum as 3 because that is the first element now now we will compare 3 with 4 which one is smaller 3 is smaller so we will not change it then we will compare 3 with 5. Which one is smaller? 3 is smaller. So we will not change it. Then we will compare 3 with 2. Which one is smaller? 2 is smaller. So we will keep the minimum here 2. Now what we will do? We will replace 3 with 2. So the new array which will come become 1 will remain in 8th position and 3 will be replaced with the 2 so here will be the 2 and 4, 5 will remain same and instead of 3 it will be instead of 2 it will be 3 so we are only swapping 2 numbers this with this we are not doing multiple swapping as we were used to do in the bubble sort we do only 2 swapping after we go through everything we will swap 3 with Okay, so 2 will go here and 3 will go here. So this is the new array. And since 3 is in the last, so we have to change this to 3. Now, let's start with the 4. So keep the 4 as a minimum because we don't have anything. So we will say minimum is 4. Now what we will do, we will compare 4 with 5. Which one is minimum? 4 is minimum. So we will not change the minimum variable. Now we will compare 4 with 3. Which one is minimum? 3 is minimum. So we will change the minimum equal to 3. Now we will compare 4 with 3. We will swap 4 with 3. That is, this will be taken by 3 and 3 position will be taken by 4. So the new array which will be created will be 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 5 comma 4 so this 2 will swap and since this 2 has swapped this will become 4 now now what we'll do we'll go again right so since the next element is 5 we will make minimum as 5 Okay, now we will we will uh, see next element. Next element is four. Which one is minimum? Four is minimum. So we will change the minimum to four. And we don't have more elements. So what we will do? We will swap these two. So the new array which will come here is one comma two comma three comma four comma five. We don't need to go further. Okay, so we got the sorted array in this way. Is that clear?
Okay, so this is the selection sort. Only one person has said clear, others have not responded. It is two loop. One loop is we are going, one loop is going five, three, four, again this five. Another loop is, another loop is we have to go and check one by one, five by three, five by four, five by one, five by two. So there are two loops. Right? One is we are going for passes. And one we have to check each one, which one is the minimum. Okay, let's take another example now. Now you have to, I will not go, uh, I will not go and tell you the details. I will just ask you what number can be solved with this bot. Okay, so let's, let's go that way. I will take another example. You have to answer it, but I will just tell you the question and you have to just, like previously I went each, each part. Now I will not cover each part, you have to do it in mentally in your mind. So let's take another example, 19, 44, 38, 5, 47, 15. Okay, so first element which we will take is 19. Since 19 is the first element, I will make minimum is equal to 19. Now tell me, this 19 is there. I should replace 19 with which element? Phi, correct. The, the one who will say phi first, phi. So the new array will become now phi, 44. Now next time you have to tell me what will be the new array. 19, 47, 15. This is a new array. So let's go now with another element. So 5 is done. Let's take now 44. Now minimum is currently 44. Now which element this will be replaced? 15. So what will be the new array? You have to type the whole array. This is the old array. You have to type the old array. New array. Type the new array in the chat. What will be the new array? Since 44 is now replaced by 15, let's write down this 15. Now what will be the new array? Okay, Rakesh has given the correct answer. So 44 will be 15 and this one will be 44. Let's take next element. Now 5 and 15 are done, so I don't need to take the 15. Let's go to next one, 38. What will be the, now current minimum is 38. What will be the new minimum? 19, correct, 19. So both has to be replaced. So 38 means here will be 19. Here will be 38. Okay, so next element is again 38. Okay, because initially it was here. Now we move to this position. Again it is 38. But since 38, 38 uh, is, okay, let's take 38. What is the, right now currently 38 is a minimum and since uh, there is nothing to replace, so we will move on. We will continue with the next element. We will not uh, worry with this one, 47. Minimum is 47 now. Okay, so let's take the 47 number. Minimum is 47. It 
what it has to be replaced with? It has to be replaced with 44. So minimum is 44. So we have to replace 44 with 47. So the new selection sort will be like this here 44 and 47. So you got the idea what we are trying to do it. Now we have to convert this idea into the logic which we have to implement. Okay, let's try to do work on that logic part now. So, first thing is we have to loop through it, right? Let's loop through it. We'll start. I will just keep the pseudo code, then you have to convert into the real program. We have to start with a for loop, and then we have to set the minimum. Minimum will be equal to the i. This let's assume this for loop is using the i as a key. So the minimum will be that i. Okay. So this is the minimum we have set it. Now let's say this loop will start with zero to array less than. Let's say i equal to zero to i less than array dot length. It will go till whole length, and we set the minimum equal to i. Now another loop will start here for loop. This will be represented by j. Since minimum is i, that is this first number, so the next loop j should always start with the i plus 1. Okay, so here j will start with i plus 1. We don't want to start with the 0 now element. It should be always i plus 1. So if I am starting from here, so the j will be from here. If i is 19, j will be 38. So J should be always one level next because I is the first element and minimum is also I initially and then we start the J from the next element. So J will always start with the J plus one. And till what it will go? To J is less than array dot length. It will completely go till end. Okay, I'm showing you this final solution. There is no other solution for this. This is the final solution. I will give you the pseudo code and you have to convert it into real program. Now, when I, so minimum is, if we go to this part, let's take this example. So, if I start with the for loop, first minimum will be the phi. Then I start with the second loop. Since it will start with i plus 1, that means it will be 3. So I get the value 3. So what I have to do, I have to compare the minimum with this 3. And I have to see which one is the lowest. Okay, so how to compare? I will say array of j. j is this one. That is i plus 1, that is this one. If array of j is less than array of minimum. Because I check this 3 is less than the minimum. Minimum is 5. So I cannot check the j with i or j with minimum. I have to check the array of it because we have to check the value but while saving it, we have to save it as a key. So I'll check array of j that is 3 is less than array of minimum that is the phi. Here I will say array of 3 is less than phi. Is it true or false? It is true. 3 is less than phi. That means j element is less than the minimum. Since it is true, if true, I will swap. Now what I have to swap? I have to swap j. No, I don't have to swap. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Back up, back up, back up. Because we will swap only in the end. We will not swap. If true, I will change the minimum to the new minimum. So minimum will be is equal to new minimum. New minimum is the j because j is the smallest. Okay. So we put it minimum equal to j. Then we go to the loop again. Now 3 is done. 
Okay, now let's start with the four. Four, and here I will again check array of J is less than array of minimum. Now what is array of J? Array of J is four. What is array of minimum now? I'm asking, what is the area of minimum now? Three, because, because initially it was five and because of this statement, minimum has been changed to the J. J is, that means it is three. So area of minimum is three. So here we are checking whether 4 is less than 3? Answer is false. No, 4 is not less than 3. So we will not go into this loop if 1. We will move to next element. What is next element? 1. Now area of J is 1. Now I'll check area of J is less than area of minimum. Now what is area of J? It is 1 because we are going to another number. Now an area of minimum is 3. We already saw here it becomes 3. So area of J is less than area of minimum. That is whether 1 is less than 3. Answer is true. Since answer is true, we have to go to this line again. I will say if true, then I will change. What you have to put in the true, you have to think on it. I am just saying, if this is true, I will change the minimum to J, that is 1. Then I will go again in the next, in the follow up, the next element. Next element is 2. Now here I will check array of J is less than array of minimum. Now what is area of J here? 2. What is area of minimum? 1. So is 2 less than 1? Answer is false. So we will not go to the if condition. Now this for loop is done. All elements are done. Since this for loop is done, I will come out of this loop. So loop ends, I will say loop ends. Which loop is ending? This inner loop is ending, first first part. Loop ends, after loop ends, I will see. Okay, so one first loop is, this is the first loop we have completed. Okay, here we started with the fire. We completed the inner loop. After the loop ends, what we will see, what we will check, whether this i, whether this i, this, okay, so after, after, after this one, a loop ends, we need to swap, okay, that is the condition. But swap has to be run with the, some particular idea. So let's think, I will swap. What I will swap? I will swap this i, because you remember, we were swapping phi with the minimum. Okay, so this is the i and this is the minimum. So what we have to swap? We have to swap i. Minimum has changed in between in the loop. So whatever you are seeing minimum here is not the minimum after the loop ends. This minimum is only the i. But when we run the smaller in loop, this minimum is changed. Because here it is changed and here it is changed. So the minimum is changed in here. So we have to swap minimum i. As we were doing here in example, this was the i and this was the minimum. We were swapping these two. Right? So we are swapping minimum with i. So we will only swap if i if i is not equal to minimum. If i is equal to minimum, then no need to swap. 
though if you will stop also but both numbers are same then it will be same so if you don't put this if for a condition then also it's fine because if i is equal to minimum both are same number if you swap it it will be same so if i is not equal to minimum we will just avoid the swapping logic if i and minimum are same because if if we get one if we get one here also one here what is need to swap both are at the right position so what we will do after the for loop ends we'll check if i is not equal to minimum we will swap minimum with the i i is the i is coming from this top loop but minimum is changed in this inner loop so we will swap only when i is not equal to minimum but if you skip this condition also it's fine it will work so after after the inner loop is done we have to swap the minimum with i and once we swap minimum with i again the loop will start this loop will start and the new minimum will come here let's try to put that new minimum because this first pass is done now i am putting the second pass i will not write down the complete pass i'll just say i will put second pass now what will be the i in this case i will put minimum equal to i what will be the i in this case Three. Next is three because phi is sort with the one, so second element is three. So minimum will be three, and i is also three here. And we will run again this inner for loop, and after that inner for loop, we will check what is i, what is minimum, and we will swap minimum with i. Then in the third pass, in the third pass, the minimum will be four. and we will again go through the inner loop and we will check what is the minimum i i is currently 4 but the minimum will change based on our inner logic and then we will swap minimum with i like this we will continue till all is done and after that we will return the array is that clear idea is clear this is the pseudo code not the perfect code now now based on whatever idea i put it here or pseudo code i put it here you have to write the function you can take the swap from the bubble sort just copy this swap part because no need to write down the swap again just copy the swap part but in the function create a selection sort function and based on this idea in 5 minutes you try to create a function okay with the real working condition so you can go to the console dot console and try to do it here and run it and see if it is working take this example in the sample case and if it is working show me the code okay and once you are done in 5 minutes i will you know i will uh, i will help you to write this down okay i will write down the real code and then we'll see today we will do only this selection sort we will not do the react part today tomorrow we will do only react part okay so i am thinking one day only data structure and one day only the react because if i switch from one to another i feel too much heavy in my mind and i am not able to give the 100% in my teaching okay so what we will do one day we will do data structure one day we will do react so tomorrow we will do whole react no data structure today we will do whole data structure no react okay so 5 minutes you have to finish this one
So remember when you are saving this minimum, this minimum will be equal to J, not the array of J. So when you are saving the minimum, we are saving the index. We are not saving the value. So no thing you can watch the video for the explanation. This explanation is done. I will just now code it and then after the class you can go through the video and see the explanation. Okay. Shweta, your solution is not right. If true, I, I have written this if true is, I, I, I just want to show you that if this condition is true, then write down. You cannot write if true. This is something the pseudo code. Don't consider this is the final code. You have to write it exactly the same way. I said if this condition is true, then you have to replace it. So you cannot say if true means you will also write if true. True means you have to check this condition. Okay, okay. Let me. Okay, let's see Shweta solution I saw. Let me see the gate. So, Kate, you cannot do minus sign and compare with zero, and and swapping will happen after the for loop of the inner for loop ends. You are putting the swapping inside it. This shopping part will come outside this for loop. Okay, so while saving you have to put the index, but while checking you have to check the value and you have to swap with the index only. Okay, I got the solution from Kate, which is not right. Ashok Kumar has not sent anything. Shweta sent the solution, which is not correct. Rakesh sent me the solution, which is 90% correct. <laughs> So I just want from Ashok and Rakesh. Okay, so those who have not given it or they are not able to do it, maybe because of time restraint or because you are... Okay, Kate, you may get the result in one one of the... Uh, one of the array, but the method is not right. It may break in some other way. Maybe if we take another array specific to your condition. <laughs> and since you have put you have not put the swap you have put the swap inside the for loop, inner for loop, then you are not really doing the selection sort. You are doing your own way to sort it. That will, though it may work, maybe it will, may work in all case, but that is not a selection sort. Selection sort is something which I explained you in here, and we have to just implement that selection sort here. You cannot say that it is working, but we already saw, we have to swap at the end. Okay, so that is the logic you have to implement. You have to implement the correct logic based on the question asked. Question is selection sort. And if it is selection sort, you have to follow the rules. Okay, so Shweta, 
data you put the minimum inside the second for loop minimum should go above the first for loop after the first for loop not after the second for loop yeah you saw too much time in selection sort that is not the purpose selection sort you have to complete this for loop and then you have to swap okay let me do let me do the solution here and if you have uh, maybe you can watch though everyone has tried very nicely i am happy let me take this swap function and then i will continue with the swap so selection sort i put the swap function and now i will follow i will go through this one and i will write down the function here so let's create a function selection sort and i will pass some array inside it okay so selection sort is my function i'll pass array inside it now if we see this one we have to loop upper out loop so we do this outer loop for that i will say for let i equal to 0 i is less than array dot length i plus plus okay so this top loop is over now i will create the minimum value i will say let minimum is equal to i so we have to take this i and put it in the minimum remember i told you we have to put the index not the value when we are saving the minimum one though here in the example above we put minimum as a value to show you if i show the in, if i put index you will not be able to visualize it here we have to put the index not the value okay so now i will go for let j equal to i plus 1 j less than array dot length and j plus plus okay so we we started with the i plus 1 so i is 0 j will be starting from the 1 till end so we started this second loop this is the second loop okay now we have the minimum as minimum is i here the minimum will be 5 okay so initially the i is the 5 first time it is 5 though here i have written 3 which is not the right one uh, i just loop it i should do the loop but initially i will be 5 initially and j will be 3 yeah it is j sorry this is the j it is correct so j will be 3 okay so what we have to do inside we have to check if array of j array of j that is 3 is less than the minimum that is a pi is less than array of minimum and that means if this is true so here i have written true one second here i have written true here i have written true that means we have to check this condition i cannot say if true here also i am checking this condition if this condition is true that means the j j value that is the 3 is less than the minimum so if this is true i will say minimum equal to i will create a new minimum called as j so the minimum initially was 5 but after the first one it, the minimum becomes the new one new value 3 now it will go again and again and again and again and until it will reach here here one is less than 3 because minimum is 3 this one so one is less than 3 so minimum will become 1 so after the end of this for loop what will be the minimum first time in the first part in the first pass what will be the minimum after i complete this for loop 1 correct rakesh is correct 1 okay so we have to replace this pi with 1 okay so i is pi that is 0 at the zero number 
and the minimum is this one one zero one two three three number so we have to replace this to this okay so here we will write the logic of replacing minimum with i so here I will say if i is not equal to equal to minimum if both are same then I don't need to swap it is it is uh, it is one of the same thing let me copy the spelling sometimes I get a spelling mistake so I will use the swap logic and I will convert array with lowest or oh, sorry it's minimum with I okay so I swap array the minimum number with the I so here I will do just console.log and I will say uh, I will say swapping minimum with i i will do okay so i'm just saying and i will also say what is the minimum value so let me show you the minimum value also here minimum value is array of minimum and i value is array of i so this is just a console to see what is happening it okay and after this for loop is done I will return the array okay so I will return the array so the array will be manipulated here and we will return it let's call this console.log selection dot with array phi what is the array? 5, 3. I will use the same one. Okay, let's run this now. And after, before swapping, I will just check what is happening. And I will also print out the array also before swapping. and I will also after swapping I will also put diary okay sorry I am saving it sorry. okay let's run this and see what's happening okay minimum is not defined I have by mistake okay I put minimum here like this I have to use minimum. Okay. okay, let's run it. Okay, let's see now. We got a minimum three. That is this one number is three. And I is zero. That is minimum value is one. And value of I value is five. So we are this is the previous you know before swapping we get this array after swapping we get the 1 and 5 both are replaced now second pass we get we start with the uh, we start with the 3 actually with 3 which I have not printed that thing but here minimum is 4 4 is this one this one 0 1 2 3 4 so minimum index is 4 and i is 1 so minimum value is 2 and i is 3 so we are replacing 3 with 2 we are replacing 2 with 3 so the new value is 1 2 4 5 3 then in the next pass minimum value is 3 and i value is 4 so we are replacing 3 and 4 so the new array is 1 2 3 and 4 is here and next time we swap 5 with 4 so ultimately we are getting 4 and 5 so let's delete this console we don't need it we just did it to see what is happening okay so this is the final code 
you can write it down in two minutes or five minutes whatever time it takes you write it down better is that if I copy and paste it to give it to you then you will not learn it so you have to write down one by one line and based on this logic which I kept on the left side it will be easy to easy to know what I'm doing it here yeah minimum I put minimum like so write down this function as it is this is a really important function it does a selection sort and tomorrow we will do react and day after tomorrow there will be test of selection sort as we did today bubble sort tomorrow day after tomorrow we will do the test for selection sort so make sure you remember this function day after tomorrow you day to repeat do this one and try to remember bubble sort also do revision of bubble sort also selection sort also because there are few sorting algorithm which we will cover and after uh, after doing all the algorithm I will take a taste of all sorting uh, problems so that means you to write a bubble sort selection sort and whatever we do in three four days you have to write down in the test all the sorting algorithm so when you practice tomorrow just practice selection sort also bubble sort also because after sorting algorithm I will take a test of all sorting algorithms okay so this soft part I I explained few days back I will show you the video you have to watch that video okay let me let me find that video one second so if you want to understand soft part I explained a couple of days back you have to you have to watch that video okay it, it I took a lot of time in explaining that and I don't want to repeat that part so you should go with 129 130 and 131 start with 129 lesson in one of the three I explained that code 99 percent it is here in 129 number okay bubble sort when we started bubble sort I explained that yeah 129 just watch this 129 I will give it you in the chat sorry I will remove the time yeah so you to go through this video to understand what is that soft means So once you are done, let me know. So when you go for interview, so they may ask uh, implement the bubble sort or implement the selection sort. These will be direct questions. There are no hidden problems here. Maybe there may be hidden problems which we may, may see. I will take a look into the all the problems and see if we have any bubble sort in problem but most of the time they will directly ask how will you implement selection sort how will you implement a bubble sort so you have to explain this logic which I explained to you here and when they or when I how I explained it here you have to explain it this way and then when they will ask you to write the code you can write the code like this one so you have to buy this code okay do 10 times 50 times just buy her this code these are your few lines of the code are there okay so you do you have to just buy her the code and if you forget in the interview but if you know the idea what we are doing you have to construct it yourself so 
So you have to also remember the idea behind the function. I will commit the code now and someone was having problem in git I will fix your problem now after I commit git head Okay, anyone having the problem with the repo? Yes, I saw some message in the chat. Is it resolved or it's still there? Yes, 